while you're holding on to personal errors and personal feelings about yourself, which we could call or term your ego, while you are holding on to that, the real truth about how you really feel inside of yourself is not being faced. So it cannot enter you. You are refusing the real truth about yourself. Now, if you're refusing the truth about yourself, so remember our little diagram about our reception of divine love at the start, right? Here's our soul. Here's God's soul. And remember we said what kind of connection was this? Soul. Just the Holy Spirit. And what is it called, so called? Truth. Spirit of truth, right? So this is the truth connection, if you like, between you and God. Now, if this soul is denying the truth about itself, can this connection happen? It cannot. It's like doing this and putting a block there on your soul. Can you see that? Yeah. That's what you're doing when you deny the truth about yourself. Now, I'm not talking about your intellectual truth. I'm talking about your emotional, emotional truth. Okay. Now, can you also, so, so you can see that I need to face the truth inside of this soul. Now, if I have some beliefs about God, emotions within me, that are emotions within me about God, inside of me, can you also see I'm now doing that? Yeah, yeah. That's right, because I'm denying the truth about God. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so you can see that if I, don't, if I don't release the emotions inside of me that are towards <laughs> God, then I'm denying the emotional truth from God. And if I don't release the emotions within me about myself that are untruthful, then I'm denying the truth about myself. And if I do any of those two things, God's love cannot flow. And remember, the truth is not about getting it here. The truth is about feeling it here. So you can get here, oh, God's not to blame for anything in my life. So you can know that. All of you know that here, right? Maybe. But we don't feel it here. And it's the feeling connection that connects between this divine love connection. You follow me? Without the feeling connection, nothing can happen. It's all just an intellectual exercise of no point. So can I just ask a quick question? Yeah. Do you have to feel all that emotion before you receive any divine love at all? No. It's a gradual process. As you release one, you receive some. As you release a bit more, you receive some more. As you release a bit more, you receive some more. It's like that continually. Yeah. Does that make sense to everyone? It just will keep flowing through you. As you release one, <coughs> you'll feel some more. And you'll feel it happening. And you'll feel your heart changing. You'll feel your heart opening as you do this. Right? But if you deny the truth about something in yourself, or you deny a truth about God in yourself, and I'm not talking about denying it here, I'm talking about denying it here, then you will not receive divine love in that instant. You will only receive divine love when you are open to the love flowing through you, which also means being open to the truth flowing through you, which also means being open to all of your own emotions flowing through you. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes, I think we worry. I'm making you worry. <laughs> yeah, why? It, it took me nine months to actually realise that I had problems with my child. Yeah. Now, you're, and I personally, I don't feel any anger towards God. So, in nine months' time, I'm not going to start feeling anger towards Him? You may. Is it for, is it for God, conclusion, or is it only... It's very, it'll be very... There's three people in your life, if I could say three souls in your life, that you are going to have a lot of different feelings about that are cu currently you might not allow yourself to feel about. They're going to be God, your dad and your mum. <laughs> and the key is for you to allow yourself to experience all of these emotions without judgement. Don't worry about what's not there now. Like if, if, you, if, I was saying, if you'd asked me two or three years ago, did I, was I in a rage towards God, I would say, what are you talking about? No. Right? I don't feel any rage towards God because I didn't at that time. 
but I wasn't working through the emotion of this responsibility duty emotion that I'm working through at the moment, right? Feeling like my whole life is now out of my control and I'm just going to be bombarded with people after people after people after people and I'm going to have no privacy. And that emotion has come up through my law of attraction over the last, you know, five or six weeks. Mm -hmm. That's just presented me with this life that I'm afraid of. And I've been afraid of it the entire time. That's why I'm shy about saying who I am. And that's why I'm not, you know, doing more to talk to people publicly. Because I am afraid. And I need to firstly <coughs> work way through that emotion. And work way through what's going on underneath before I will not be afraid. So I'm not... So the way I'm trying to address it is not by going out there and just doing what I'm afraid of. Because in the end I'll still be afraid. Right? What I need to do is allow myself to actually dig into the real emotions underneath this and feel them and experience them and release them. That's what I need to do. And you'll find the same. So you'll find that your soul is opening up like a, like a, uh, it's like a flower, really, in a way. So when it's just the bud, you don't see the flower, right? And then as slowly the petals start to unfold, and this is what happens with you as you experience your emotions and as you actually begin to grow spiritually, what's happening is this little bud that you are starts unfolding, right? And eventually, it keeps unfolding and keeps growing and keeps blossoming and keeps growing and eventually it opens up into full bloom. And that's when you are the beautiful person that you are without the injuries, if you like. Until then, you're held in tight by all these different injuries. Or you could liken it to the blossoming of a caterpillar into a butterfly. And you've got some wonderful butterfly stuff up all the way through here, hey? And, and I went to one in Cairns uh, about a year ago, and I just sat down on the floor of the, <laughs> the thing crying, actually. And because I could feel that the opening up of the soul is exactly the same as that transformation process. That Was it chrysalis? Yeah, chrysalis. chrysalis process? <laughs> that, that, that the grub goes through becoming a butterfly. And... And that's what you're doing with your soul. Your soul is growing. So now, that's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to recognise right now, right here and now, the 150 different emotions that you have within you that you need to release in order to get to that state. But the emotions will slowly be released if you're open to the process and you're open to this process of experiencing your anger, getting underneath the anger, experiencing the grief, getting underneath the grief and feeling those really deep core emotions that are even underneath that and really going for it. 